in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the liturgy of the Word of God today invites us to live with glory and honor and peace with everyone so that by doing good we may inherit the blessings of God. In today's first readings, in his, in his letter to Romans, St. Paul warns all those who pass judgment about the other will receive the same judgment because we also do the very same things. But the judgment of God is right and just because we do not hold the kindness, forbearance and patience of God. Therefore, let us leave to God the judgment of everyone so that we may live as his sons and daughters. He who is impartial will give to each one what each one's action deserve. In today's gospel, our Lord warns the teachers of the law and even to the Pharisees because the Lord has given them the position of authority. It is not to teach their own doctrines or to make their own laws for their own selfish motives, but rather it was given to them so that they may teach the ways of God to the people, so that they may make the lives of people better and not worse. Therefore the Lord tells them that the authority has to be used as the Lord expects them. Jesus is the model of how to exercise one's authority for the service and well-being of everyone. Let us then pray for our religious and political leaders that they may, in service of heart and mind, may build communities of fellowship and love so that oppression, discrimination, violence may cease everywhere so that fellowship and brotherhood may be promoted. Let us pray, O oh Lord, from whom every authority and leadership comes, we offer you all our political and religious leaders of our nation and of our world. We pray that your inspiration of service leadership 
may motivate them and lead them to build communities of fellowship and peace. We make this prayer in your holy name, dear Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.